Hello, we are now live. Welcome to, I almost said June, but welcome to our May live show to discuss our May book of the month, which is mm. The Invisible Library by I Genevieve Cogman. <laughs> I've born uh -huh. from a library. <laughs> Um, okay, while we wait for people to pop in, say hello, let us know what you thought of the book. Just want to mention that obviously this is a, there's a lot happening in the world right now and just wanted to address that. I feel a little bit weird posting any kind of content right now, but we do want to still have a place where people can escape and talk about positive things and chat about books together. So I just want to, in the description I've made, um, a list of some funds if you're interested in donating uh, to some of those funds to help with the situation that's happening, especially in America right now. So, okay, books. Let us know in the comments yeah. what you rated it. And we can discuss what we rated it. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, I know what. Oh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting chat. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rochelle, do you want to start? As a bit, someone who um, um, so nominated this one. This is the second time that I'm reading this book because I had read it previously. So the first time I read it, I read it as a paperback, which was a good reading experience. This time I listened to it as an audiobook and found the experience to be quite different and not as enjoyable as previous, but I still did rate it the four stars that I had rated it previously. Interesting. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I like Doctor Who, and this is very Doctor Who vibes and style. So I was, I was in no matter what, baby. Oh, yeah, okay, I know. Okay, so <laughs> I gave this a two. Simply, I know the cry. Um, I was sad that I had to give it a two. Like I, so it's for me. It started off really strong. Like I was really enjoying, like the concept of everything. But then I think once it got to, without, I'm not going to say any spoilers, but like once it got to a certain couple of sections, I was like, ah, uh, oh, hello, Peter. What's up, bitches? What's up? And then once it got to like a certain, a few sections, I was just like, ah, it just didn't seem like something I was really enjoying anymore. And also just in terms of the writing style, I just wasn't, I don't think I was connecting with it very well so that's just it's all very personal opinion but yeah that's yeah. why i gave it to i mean that's god forbid in general that personal opinion. <laughs> god forbid piera what did you think what did you rate it um well the three sentences that i read uh i didn't oh. rate it <laughs> i'm sorry i tried i kept going okay i'm gonna read it today and i was like in the 300 pages so i was like cool i can finish it in one sitting no stress and i just fucking stopped and forgot about it until the other day when you guys were like oh so the live show this weekend and i was like yes <laughs> so yes, i tried that, that thing that we do <laughs> I got, I, i'm sick of reading on my kindle at the moment I, it's just really stunting my reading ability um mm. so i didn't fucking read it i'm sorry but i just wanted to That's hang okay. out with everyone. That was sad. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you have joined us <laughs> thank you i'm interested to hear all of that though all right awesome <laughs> kaz what about you so I'm hedging between a three, 3.5. Um, mm. I mean, overall, I enjoyed it, but it didn't uh, stand out to me. I mean, it wasn't mind blowing or anything. I had a fun time with it. It was weird in some wonderful ways, um, mm. but I just didn't really connect with the characters a whole lot. But at the very least, I was, intri I was really intrigued by the world um, mm. and kind of, I can touch upon this when we discuss the ending a little bit in the spoiler section. Um, but I'm hoping to get more of it in future. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we shall awesome. see. Mm. Oh, we did have questions. Where, where's my... <laughs> where's the dot gone? Where's it gone? Okay. Where has it gone? Favourite characters. Did we have a favourite character? Why? Go, Rochelle. Off you go. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I loved Irene. She was very, like, she is my inner voice. She is oh, absolutely yeah. who I am in my brain when I'm not being polite to people. 
<laughs> Absolutely. I she's, I so you, so you when you're not at work. <laughs> but yeah, it's me who I am, am when I'm not at work and I'm not trying to be tactful. <laughs> Irene yeah. is just like who I am and I connected yeah. very deeply with her, which is probably why I enjoyed it a little bit more than you guys because I very much felt her as a person. <laughs> And yeah. it also doesn't hurt that Irene is my grandma's name, so I was just like extra nostalgia there for me. Oh, cute. Oh, I love <laughs> yeah. that. So, so cute. Sweet. Um, I think my favourite, I have to, I'm agreeing with Els on my favourite. It's, oh, how do you say her name? It's Brenda Mante or Brenda Mante? I don't know how you say her name. But her, she was so funny. Like Brandon I Mant, just, I think. Yeah, I, I just like every time. Mante? Every time they're on the page, I just like laughed and it was a really good time. And as much as I love Irene, I just thought that like having that other character on the page just kind of broke things up a little bit and gave me some relief mm. from all the drama that was happening <laughs> around. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my but favorite. I think it was a flare of drama. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was fun. I'm not. Oh, I. Okay, a character that I wanted more of was what was her name? Like the old lady Olga something or other, the like oh, oh the Olga. elder Miss whatever her face is. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the her name. The blackmailer. Yeah, that one. Yeah, the blackmailer one. You, you yeah. wouldn't have read anywhere near close enough to her. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's like <laughs> yeah, don't it's the blackmailer one. <laughs> Never heard of her. <laughs> That's a good yeah, <laughs> they made this older woman at one of the phase like parties, and did she used to be a courtesan or something like that? Um, along yeah. Those lines. yeah, yeah, and now basically blackmails everybody. Um, but I she found knows it awesome. everything, and it's just like fuck you, give me money. Yeah. I found like that all the things I would like I should probably read my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's hilarious, Texas. I just I realized was... all the characters' names. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. yeah, feels. That'll happen. But yeah, yeah. Honestly, I wish to have that yeah. kind of ambition yeah. and confidence to blackmail everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh. <laughs> All right. What's the next question? Cool. Um, what did you think of the magic system of the library? So Loved the it. Great. Really enjoyable. You don't even fucking know what it is. I have to like, I have to contribute. She was just to agree. She was just agree with us. Well. How far did you actually get, Pierre? Did you meet any characters other than I Irene? I read the first page three times. Oh my god! <laughs> so I know Irene was sweeping a floor, and there were some boys at a school. Okay. <laughs> wow, you got so far. All right, just I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna fucking read it now while you talk. Just wait. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Bye, honey. <laughs> I'll tell you the page count or whatever, and then you can follow along. Yeah. Catch up. So can like, you still hear me? Yeah. That's crazy. I've got my earpods in, and I just wanted to know the range of them. Oh. They, are, they are so good. crazy. Can't, Can't see. You but... There we go. You never know what I'm doing. Who's going to know? <laughs> I could be naked, and you have no idea. Hey, no. <laughs> um, what naked. was the question again? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Magic system. Oh, the magic system. Magic system. I thought it made Love sense. It. <laughs> Sorry, I, okay, you go. I mean, I I liked it, and I liked how obviously having to do with library and words, it is all very much focused on words, but how word choice and grammar can affect things. I wish mm -hmm. we got to see more blundering or like accidental, like misfiring of intentions with the the language. Um, yeah. I think that would have been quite funny. Um, it's a shame that Kai can't really use it yet because I feel like if he'd been at a stage where he could use the language, then we would have had some really entertaining moments. Um, mm. Yeah. But I like I like the idea of it, and then also this I also really enjoyed um, the fact that there was some worlds that were high tech low magic, some that were high magic low tech, or a bit of more of a blend of the two. I thought that was super interesting, and mm. I'm curious, I w I'm hoping that in future books we can kind of explore more of these worlds. Yeah, yeah, super definitely. interesting. I liked the i so I liked the concept of language like as being like the as like being like the core of the magic system but I just like I agree with Els like I would have liked more info on it like I 
like I remember like I was just reading a section where she kind of summarizes it in like two sentences and I felt like it could have been maybe like a whole page of explanation like and I don't mind a little bit of info dumping every now and then as long as it kind of gives me a really good idea as to how that concept works and then like I could that just applies throughout the entire book but yeah I would have um I think if it was explained better and if we got to see it in maybe like different ways I would have mm. like got a better understanding of it but I think the concept was really interesting but yeah yeah I, I agree as well because I feel like with a lot of the use of the language most of the time it was in like high intensity situations where there were like running or battling so there wasn't much extra exposition around it mm, there yeah was room, there wasn't time for it so I, I would have enjoyed seeing a lot more of it so yeah. Have you read any of the books, Rochelle, in the series? Um, no, I've been meaning to pick them up because the first one is the only one I own in hardcover and I'm just like, I enjoyed that reading experience so much I want to continue following it mm. in that format. Um, yeah. But I haven't been able to get my hands on the previous Who publishes books it? Yet. I'm just going to look at it while you guys chat. Pan Mac. Cool. Pan Mac. Cool for me. Yeah. I, have, I, don't, I don't have a contact with Pan Mac anymore. I cry. Order through my warehouse staff discount. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Um, um, oh, Rachel, I, did you want to hear your thoughts? Yeah. I really <laughs> like the magic system in that it feels very similar to the naming parts of Name of the Wind, but oh, I also yes. really enjoyed that each world has its own individual, like, elements of the language as well like there's vocab specific to that world with like with the world that they were in with the zeppelins and all the the structural pieces etc i liked that Mm. the language was personalized to each place and if you weren't thinking about it it could really mess you up and irene's a competent user of it and she's been practicing for a, a while with it so she doesn't make those mistakes but I'm really interested to see what happens when Kai can begin to use it because that yeah. is going to be a shit show and I am so going excited. to love it. Yeah, yeah. I, I also remember um like their first or second night there when they're when they're in that hotel mm-hmm. and Irene stays up all night memorizing all of the new words that are like appropriate for the world that she's in so she's spending a lot of time and energy memorizing like all the different adjectives to do with zeppelins and things like that yeah. i wish we could have done a little more detail about some of the things there like she does summarize it quite briefly but um yeah so that's interesting as well yeah i love having elves here in like some capacity yeah. i know Thank i you miss you wife <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. I think that's what that point as well. That this is a chaos world. Um, yeah, I did like that whole idea of like chaos mm. as um, like and how it like basically just kind of manifest uh, things. Yeah, so how do I describe this? Like I'm still yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds really interesting. I really enjoyed that. It was very different mm-hmm. to other things I've read recently. So. Thoughts, Piera? Um, well, I've just finished the first chapter. And yeah, what the, what the hell? Well done. I've got one you page left of the first chapter. And so, <laughs> are we spoilers yet? No, no not yet. Not oh, yet. Okay. Uh, well, so it's the magic one. system. She like says something and it does something. Like Name of the Wind. That's what I overheard. Yeah. 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 But obviously, with words, like if I was like fucking. <laughs> Cup, explode would it explode yeah yeah okay. yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's yeah, like one... um lock open or door yeah. open it'll unlock itself one, kind of thing one thing that i also thought was kind of a similarity in the name of the winds magic system is it's a lot easier and expends a lot less energy to force something to do something it's naturally meant to like having a yeah. lock open a it's meant to do that it's part of the nature of that uh, object as opposed to like look <laughs> explode yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or something come to yeah. life. Yeah, and it takes yeah, a dance kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. So I thought that was an interesting detail, and yeah, when you make that very similarity. specific by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah. you have to like, be very intentional with word lock choice. on the library door. Lock yourself, yeah. so you can't yeah. just say like lock yourself because like everything would lock itself. Correct. Is that correct? 
Yeah, yes. right. everything would lock. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so what? There's like there's fey and gargoyles and what is what's the world? I don't understand. Sorry, I should have read the book. <laughs> That's one world that she eventually like. I'm not going to go into details. That's one world. There's basically alternate portal world. magic. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. uh, library is the portal. Yeah, the library. She, they she can go to any alternate world. Didn't we read this book earlier in the year? It's like a library and a portal. No, it's a see. Yes. Is it like that? <laughs> no. Okay, I've read one chapter. I'm I'm literally <laughs> still blind here. This is what I get. Okay, okay. You can do that. Live reading. <laughs> Live reading. Nobody um, needs this. <laughs> Everyone oh needs God. this, Piera. Everyone needs this. So funny. Um, I think I'm done. I'm done making videos. I, just, I, I watch them back. You keep and I'm saying like, that. I should probably care about my ego and my pride more as a human being. At this point, I'm just like, fucking whatever, mate. But then, you know, nah, I don't care. That's a lie. Okay, good news. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, talking about the world, Sorry. did you... What? Does she have a tattoo? <laughs> talking about the Yes. Yeah, the, the ability to use the magic is inherent but to have the tattoo spread across her back shift and rise. Is that part of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what kind okay, of ignore me. <laughs> Thanks. Love you. Bye. So what do we think of the many different types of fantasy elements? And did you find it overwhelming? Did they affect how you engage with the book? So, like, in the in the world that this is mostly set in, it's kind of steampunk, there's vampires and fae and secret societies and dragons and parallel worlds and library conspiracies. What do we think? Sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I never a know lot. how I feel about those sorts of books. Like, I like, I'm very much, I like my fantasy to be, like, one kind of fantasy like is it urban fantasy or is it high fantasy or is it you know x the amount of other fantasy genres i really i personally really struggle with the um like portal magic i guess with jumping between worlds that are vastly different whereas like you know in like a darker shade of magic it's just essentially the same london some just has power like there's no like it is like the same sort of like they do try it's london in this one as well and they're similar londons there might be a few things that are kind of different but most of the time it's kind of like there's a london here okay yeah. and, it, and what it's just like the um the, like the, the races and the magic systems are different then or yeah. oh, it's, it's, it's more the makeup of tech and magic that is on yeah. spectrums and how that influences the world and what technologies they have there that's kind of more Okay. I feel like what's the main yeah. difference? The alternate paths that could have happened if certain things mm -hmm. went uh, a certain yeah. way rather than the way that they had gone. Yeah, so Thank how you. it progresses differently mm -hmm. depending on what they've got. <laughs> I like that the Fae were creepy creeps with pet eyes. <laughs> the Fae oh, are yeah. fucking creeps, man. So weird. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. So they're not what the name of the Fae? What was no, Still not up. like that. They don't have big wingspans and, and rippling muscles. Um, unfortunately. What's the point of a man. <laughs> no. Um, but what was the name of the first fae that she meets? Like without saying where, but like what was the name of that first fae that she meets? That Irene. Silver. Meets? Silver? Silver. Yeah. Yeah. Creep. I feel like yeah. that's the only like fae that? she really interacts with, isn't it? Is it the only one that she? Already? has major interactions with there's hints that she's interacted oh, with yeah. Faye previously uh yeah. Yeah. okay creepy creepy but actually like going back to the question about like many fantasy elements i actually kind of like like every now and then i like to read a, like something that has like a whole ton of different fantasy elements within like mm -hmm. werewolves and vampires and fae and like all of those things like um i like having that sometimes mm -hmm. but um and i think the the way that she does it in this book is like, it's, she doesn't take herself too seriously. Like, it's not, mm. like, something where she's, like, trying to, like, force upon this, like, super high fantasy world with, like, all these different yeah. fantasy elements. She's like, we're going to have fun. We're going to chuck in some vampires and werewolves and gargoyles and fae and all these different mm. things. And we're just going to see how it goes. And I thought that was really fun and interesting. And mm. it um, just made the reading experience really good. 
Yeah. Mm. I I enjoy a bit of convoluted against <laughs> mundane and I really needed it this month. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I feel like with the setup of this particular world the ultimate reality they're in it made so much sense because chaos is increasing so things are being added on top of it so yeah like you know however many years in the past there wouldn't have been vampires and werewolves and fae but they're slowly adding more which makes sense because it's a chaotic world so yeah oh what's she gonna say it Maybe made a lot of sense there we go. oh you cut it, Sorry, like, you just cut out for a hot minute you froze <laughs> like, for a second Oh, no. <laughs> what did I last say? <laughs> you were in the middle of this situation and I don't know what actually happened in that I, it, it prompted me to want to ask about, is this world set in like quadrants with like your chaotic good, chaotic neutral, chaotic evil, or is that just, should I just make that not up? So much, no, not so much like good or evil. It's more like chaos versus law and structure versus tech versus magic so it's quadrants it's like chaotic magic chaotic tech kind of deal all right gotcha copy but, yeah. but it's all about cool. balance balance my favorite mm. my favorite. <laughs> my favorite kind of thing hmm. okay it is not my <laughs> favorite kind of thing <laughs> um Next question, is there anything you felt that the book, book book was lacking or anything that was lacking detail? Well, I already explained about my need for detail in ex- describing the language more. Mm. Yeah. So that I needed a little bit more. Like just a little, doesn't have to, didn't have to be a whole page maybe, just like a little bit more. Yeah. Or, just see, or just seeing it in action more and just cut and then yeah. like making my own decisions on how it works would mm-hmm. have been good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the lack of detail was very deliberately done because of the chaotic world that they were in. They don't have that oh, much yeah. time to sit around and explain stuff, especially with everything that was going on. Um, and we're kind of more expected to just be like, we're very much Kai in this situation where we don't really know how everything's working and Irene's just kind of, they're doing her thing and we're just like, okay, cool. You do you we boo. are Kai. We are Kai. We're just like, okay. <laughs> good job. Thing. You go do your thing. We'll meet later. Who's Kai? Cool. Explain who Kai is. Kai is Kai? her like apprentice, like or trainee oh, that so. she gets given. Yeah. And then like they get yeah. given a mission and they have and then he just like tags along and he doesn't know how to use the language or anything like that. So she's training him while they're in this chaotic world. Right. Yeah. Copy, copy. Cool. You wanted also, to see. I was, I was just gonna say. I also thing. agree with this. I I really really want to see more of the library. Yeah. Um. And the way the book ended, I feel like it's gonna be a little while before we do, which is sad. Um. Mm. But there's like six books in this series, five or six books. Like this. Yeah. yeah so and a whole bunch of short stories as well. So. Mm. Mm. so is that the that library is like an actual cool. library? Is it one of those situations where you like enter through a book and that is the world? No, oh. it's got like <laughs> doorways. <laughs> it's got doorways where you can step into other places. Oh, but yeah. the library is just like a a library. You to walk around and there's a whole bunch of sections about like ancient Latin American literature for this world. But if you step into it, do you go into that, or is it like no, a? It's still a book. someone's store. Okay, so it's just it's just set in a library. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're but collecting the unique is- fiction yeah. from each of the worlds. Copy. So gotcha. Still confusing. Yeah, this was super interesting. The fact that sometimes it could take days to travel from one part to the other, mm-hmm. especially if you, I can't remember what it was called, but if you don't have access to something that makes you get there quickly, it can take a really well, long the, time. If yeah. you don't have the authority, authority or the talent to do the other mm. type of travel. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And how I thought it was also cool how it was like the pathways between the sections were kind of like if like there was one where she was walking along a path, but it felt like they were on a like bridge almost, mm. like how it's unstable it was really mm. interesting. Um, I'm curious what other sections of the library look like. Mm. Yeah, we only got to see a very small part of it, and I'd be curious to see if there are those big, grandiose halls. Or, like, lots of, like, small little 
reading nook kind of areas and see like whether it's a give me both please (laughs) yeah (laughs) and like a a more of a miss mishmash of like prominent libraries from our world whether she's just kind of like hodgepodge things together Mm. that would be interesting to see Hmm. um yeah so this is how i feel as well like i'm Mm. i would like to read more in the series i'm curious if you I mean, Piera, will you read more? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll finish this first one. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, based on what you've said, I'm not super psyched about it. Like, I like what you're saying about Irene being like you, which then reminds me of, like, why those sorts of characters that I like. But then you were also saying that the characters weren't that deep or enticing, which I'm such a character reader that if I don't like the characters within, like, the first chapter, I'm like, cool, peace. Mm-hmm. So... Mm. If that makes sense. Also, I, like, I'm just coming more to realise that my kind of fantasy is like your high quest fantasy as opposed mm. to your more modern fantasy, depending on. I don't know. My reading taste has changed so much in this last <laughs> year alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's changed. Like, I just, I don't, at this point, I'm just, I'm an open reader. I have no, I just read fantasy. I don't know anymore. I don't know who I am. I'm going through a real identity crisis. <laughs> cool. I just read things. <laughs> and have feelings about things and then continue to live my life. <laughs> Fair enough. Unless it's Shadowhunters, which apparently I spiral for like six fucking months. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I uh, don't want that. the shit out of me. What is, why? Thank you. Jacob. You know, the girl say <laughs> Jacob. They say, where the fuck's Jacob. my cock? But yeah, I, I tried to It's really hard. Just gonna keep it warm. But can I have it in a cup? Have a I, don't, while we I don't want it to be warm. I want to be able to drink it. <laughs> Would you just call me? Oh, you're good, Cass. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and there's the Hufflepuff Slytherin interaction we were all waiting yeah. for. We just finished watching, rewatching the Hunger Games, and the whole time he just spent like crying about how much he loved Peter and how good Peter was. Oh and yeah. And then I was like, "Is it just because it's you? Like you are that oh, kind of person?" Yep. And he yeah, was like, I'm it. so fucking good. I relate. I'm so fucking good. I relate to Peter. That, no bullshit. Oh, I was more appreciative. Sorry, I've just hijacked this with Hunger Games. No one's listening. No one's interested in what you have to say. Um, <laughs> it was mostly just like. He was like, it's so good. It's such a good adaptation. Like, you know, oh, my God. And is that what? That's the pearl. And uh, uh, and I was like, just read the fucking book. Imagine how much more you'd know. So, that's where I'm Aww. at right now. Oh. Oh, no, Cass. Bye, Cass. Bye, Cass. Oh, no. Cass. Oh, no. Yeah. It's okay. We have the questions. She's in charge now. <laughs> oh, wait. She's restarting. Oh, no, she's back. Are you good, girl? Yeah. I, I swapped over to my hot book because I kept, like, buffering and lagging. So I was like, you know what? I should have done this first. It's I'm fine. Like, oh, good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Stop bitching about her. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Kira and Jacob were just having some time. And um, now we're back. Just a little domestic. A <laughs> little domestic. Um, oh. 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 Uh, come on. Sorry. Hold on. I saw a comment on the YouTube page, but it hasn't showed up here, so I can't highlight it yet. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. How dare. <laughs> Still non spoilers? I think we are still non spoilers. We're still non spoilers. Yeah. I'm actually I'm I'm gonna because of this next comment, I'm gonna swap us over to spoiler. the spoiler section. The spoiler. You are now in the spoiler section. Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> what are you so, doing? Mm. Thank you. Do it. Fucking do it. Sorry. Oh. What is what, what is this coming up? My copy of, like, of the next book, and it was from Kai's perspective. It was a bit of a copy. Oh, Kai. I didn't know what Kai. the word "creepy" meant for a second there. I was like, "It's a what?" It's, it's a what? I'm excited that it's from Kai's perspective because I feel like he would be a very interesting character to kind of get, like, especially well, after yeah. the revelation, the revelation of Kai. Is yeah. that how big you wish the penis was? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm going to Ikea. He's gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave soon anyway. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh, you're on your own. I got shit to do. Not really. <laughs> I'm um, you. Speaking of the ending though, I feel like I was okay, as we were nearing the end and they go back to the library after the mission is completed. I was like, cool, I wonder what world they're going to go to next. Mm. But they're not going to go to a new world. They're going back to the same one, which I think was interesting. And I think it kind of like made sense because it seemed like there was some politics and like smoothing over that needed to happen mm. within other library authorities. So like logically it makes sense. But I was excited to explore more. Yeah. At least we got more of it. It was interesting. Yeah, I'm really hoping that we'll get to see more worlds like from different perspectives like I'd be interested to see like a high order world from Kai's perspective and see like how much difference there is between how he feels about that kind of world versus the current world that they're in mm-hmm. so I feel like he has a really strong opinions about something so yeah <laughs> really, really uh, strong opinions about family that I'm really interested to yeah to who uh, who you. Hurt you. Please, please I want to know us. more Yeah, I want to know more about his family dynamic, especially since, like, so he's uh, gone into the life. You can just drop it. We're in spoilers. You can say it. No, I was just trying to think of how to phrase it. So he's he's gone into the library and spent five years pretending not to be a dragon. Um, Mm. And I'm wondering if, like, (laughs) (laughs) who's a dragon? Kai. (laughs) I thought he was an apprentice. Yeah. Sorry, just quickly catching up. Is he like a real dragon? He is a real yeah, dragon. Who, beca- who, yeah. who can become a person, or is this whole time you've been talking about the apprentice is a fucking dragon? No, he can no, become no. a person. Yeah. Um board. Sorry. Okay. But I was kind of like, there was some obviously he just hints at family things going on, but I'm wondering Ooh. if like oh, I can't remember those I wish I'd tabbed it, but I'm trying to like figure out if he went in with his family's approval like infiltrating the library almost or if it's going against their wishes or not that's what I want to know yeah there was like hints about family like not agreeing with his choice but we didn't get like why or how he got into his position, which I'd be very keen to explore. That's the mm. big question I had throughout. I was so interested by his backstory because, yeah, again, he 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 went on this huge spiel, um, judging Vale for like abandoning and stopped stopping talking to his family, and he's like, even if they disagreed, he should never have never have left. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Who hurt you? <gasps> yeah, it's like, have you been disowned by your own family? Is that why we're getting this feeling from you? Yeah. Yeah. Explain. I'd like to know more. Yeah. And I just, I'm, I, I want to just know more about the dragons because obviously, mm. context of Piera, dragons are able to kind of counterbalance chaos. So if a world is like slowly devolving into chaos, often the dra- sometimes if the dragons feel like it, they'll come in and interfere and kind of restore a bit more balance. But mm. for is whatever, chaos like Black London? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's kind of what causes like the manifestation of vampires and like mm. illogical beings. Ah, uh, like. so like the Savage Song. I'm just trying to relate yeah. to magic yeah. systems that I know. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. It is like that. Got yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, cool. And Probably. the more chaos a world has, like the higher level fae that can enter it as well. So a certain mm-hmm. level of fae can't be in a, a particular level world if there's not fae. enough chaos. Yeah. Copy. So cool. Yeah. I'd love an insight into what influences their decision there. Um, and, yeah, I thought his family weren't thrilled about it as well. But someone made a comment in our Zoom live stream yesterday that um, seemed to, like, say the opposite but I, I'm assuming someone read it wrong <laughs> or misinterpreted oh. so that's what oh, confused yeah. me I was like wait was it I, I mm. can't remember mm. um no. yeah <clears throat> sorry I might peace out now just because I don't understand what you're talking about so I'm going to go and read the book and then develop my own <laughs> opinions <laughs> I'm confused so I'll, see you next, I'll see you next month let me know what we're reading we know what I know we're reading this. I just remembered Yes, of course, I remember now. <laughs> I've lost a large chunk of my brain. Yes, I'll be there and I'll have read the book. 
and I will know things. We will okay. hold you to it. I love yeah. you guys. Bye, love you too. I love you. Bye. Bye. Oh also, I didn't God. realize this was female female. And I'm like, yes, Pride Month for the win. Mm. I told you guys. Yeah. I didn't remember. Sorry. I mean, I also, still don't remember agreeing that this was going to be the book of the month, but I remember the description. Yeah, so no, I, was, I, don't, I don't remember I like, anything. I, I linked the book saying this is female, female YA fantasy. And then I was like, do you guys want to do this for June? And I remember people being like, either thumbing it up or being like, yeah. And I was like, okay, great. So <laughs> I think I was a disconnect in my mind because I, I just saw female, female. I was like, yeah, sounds good. That's what I'm looking for. But then didn't actually click on the link and realize what the book was. So that's yeah. what probably why I was confused when you're like, come and on, it's also, yeah. <laughs> and it's also an Australian, it's also an Australian debut. So yeah. I think it's mm. really good to support local. Absolutely. Yeah. But I know mm. she's also published, like it's being published in the US as well, which is super exciting for her. So. Yeah, I think it's with um I can't remember who it's with in the Fire US. Fire or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, Rochelle, your copy's on the way. So Yay, for those, thank you. This is what we're reading in June. Yours is the final, yeah? Mine's no. <clears throat> proof. Oh, yours the proof. Mine's the final. It's the foil. Mine, oh, mm. I was yeah, went shiny. Just it's shiny. Oh yeah, we're not we're not ending the live stream yet. We're just saying that's our book. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I'm just reminding Piera what we're doing as usual. <laughs> Constantly reminding her. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's where I am that woman's personal assistant when it comes to going you somewhere get paid away. We are going somewhere like if we're going to a book thing i'm like remember you've got this panel at this time you've got to be oh here God. at this time and she's like thank you're, you you're, her, you're basically her publicist that's a publicist i'm too. her manager let's be real i am, <laughs> I am the book club manager at this point man i love it okay so well, okay one thing that i want to, to discuss so we have Irene and Bradamante's kind of mm. rivalry and mm. I will when when Irene first like alludes to it and throws Irene under the bus almost like I think it was at the ball and she makes a comment about something that happened in their past um mm, yeah and saying how like so Bradamante basically got Irene to try and convince this other woman to do something while Bradamante was stealing something in the background and I I thought that Irene was having a fling with this woman and I got very excited by it, but then it just turned out she was just talking to her. There's no gaze. I know. I mean, we yeah, don't I get a whole lot of context about that situation. How was she distracting the woman? We don't know. That is, yeah. I mean, that is very true. But we don't Irene, know. Irene, in her thoughts, was like, I was just trying to like talk to her. Like, I read it that she was mm. downplaying it, but. Yeah. Mm. I think but she was also yeah. downplaying it to herself because Probably she was yeah. speaking when Kai was hitting on her in the hotel, she was like, No, I like You're not my burglar type. types. Yeah. So I'm I mean, I'm kind of thinking that Pretty sure I read it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure she's by. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's by. I also just love Kai's confidence when he's just like, Okay, so do you want to sleep together? She's like, mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> like it, it'll be a good time. I promise. It's like I am exceptional in bed. It's just like yeah, well, me too. But no, <laughs> I just mm. thought that was really funny. Yes, um, agreed. I'm actually, I'm actually just also interested to see whether they actually do get to whether they do get together or whether they just like become like really good partners. Yeah, like, yeah. Fr- like you know, okay. I mean, I call them. it a partnership, so mm. <laughs> or partnering. Mm. Was it Kai or was it Irene who was like, oh, it might have been Irene when she was thinking about it. Kai's offer of partnering or something ridiculous yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, I'm thinking that the relationship, Irene and Bradamante's. Yeah. Enemies to lovers, let's do it. Woo! I, I think they went from being like friends to enemies. Like I think that's why Irene's so bitter about everything. Like she thought they were genuinely like they genuinely had a connection or something and then turned around oh. and realized that Bradamant was just using her. Yeah. Mm. I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad too. But <laughs> hopefully it all gets fixed in future books because that would be hella sick. I would be yeah. happy with that. Yeah. Really so that, that's part of also why I'm driven to continue. Mm. And like honestly, these books like her like her books don't seem like they're very hard reads either like you can probably just like sit there and just like devour half of it in a mm. sitting so mm. yeah well the audiobook is 
10 and a half hours and the reader is very slow. So I was listening to it on 2.5 speed. Whoa. So I think, yeah, I think I finished it in like four hours or something on audio. Oh, nice. Yeah. 10 to 4. Very nice. Whew. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that happens that's that would be good to discuss. What did I tab? I didn't tab a lot. I Can mean, we talk about the fact that the alligators burst into this gala? Yes, <laughs> that's uh, that's one of my very few tabs. Like, I was like I'm, what? I'm sitting here, I'm just reading about like this, you know, whole situation where they got the gala, blah blah blah, and then all of a sudden these alligators mind controlled burst. alligators it's like burst into the room and start eating people i'm like what <laughs> like that was one of the moments where i was like oh i don't know about this like i was like mm. but yeah that no, was up. that's one of the moments where i was just like i fucking love this <laughs> I, I was like oh when you're like mm, love it's so cute in a kind of good way yeah yeah i, I just <laughs> I really enjoyed the description of like one of the alligators tearing a waiter's leg off like a chicken yeah. leg. I was yeah. just like, oh yeah. god, yeah. <laughs> it's just like snap it. They just snapped it off when the blood is just everywhere. I was like, oh. oh. Also, with the silverfish, and at the end, mm. she's like, I just saw bodies, oh, yeah. and I'm, like, I'm just hopefully praying that they're just unconscious from the shock of it all. I was like, no, they're dead. <laughs> Yeah, I love that she deludes herself. I love I that. She's just like, nope, they're just unconscious. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, like, I feel like in that situation, you'd have to. Otherwise, you'd probably be in more shock than she already was. And mm. she was yeah. in a lot of shock because of her hands were all cut. Well, yeah. Um, Yuck. Not, not well, for the faint hearted. Light no, and no. fun, but not for the faint hearted or the squeamish. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I was also. I. Uh, there were two instances where she did the I let out a breath, unaware that I'd stopped breathing situations. Mm. I feel like that's in every book. That's in every, yeah. every book. I swear, everyone will have that in a book. Like, I swear. I don't think I've read a book where it's never been. No. Nah. I've become more and more aware of it now. And I'm just waiting for it at this time. I'm just like, every book I read, I'm just like, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And I got. I yeah. got 30 pages from the end of a book and I was like, holy shit, the book's going to do it. And then yeah. like five pages from the end, it was like, and I let out a breath I didn't know I was holding. I was like, damn it. No. <laughs> Very close. We made it so far. Damn. I love how it also like tries to do it in a different way. It words like a different way. Like, like, yeah. Like, just no. stop. <laughs> we, we know what you're doing. <laughs> actually, I was actually going to just point out that I think I've been really enjoying fantasies that are written by women over men. And I think it's kind of because, like, with Irene, like, when they go into, like, when they get given the mission, like, her and Kai get given the mission to go into that alternate world, and, like, she rocks up and she's just, like, I think she just makes a comment about the fact that she can't wear trousers and she yeah. can't wear, like, really, like, practical clothing. She has to wear, like, dresses and, like, all, like a wig and shit like that. I was mm. like, man, I love a practical woman. I love how she's just, like, you know, mm. I need to be able to like do my stuff and not look all like whatever it is that she needs to look like in society. Yeah. That was, good. That was really fun. Yeah. yeah. I she love when she goes into the new world. Like, is this a world where women have progressed enough? <laughs> like what's it going to yeah. be like? <laughs> Irene is the suffragette for sure. Yeah. <laughs> she is the starting point for most of those women, I swear. Yeah. Um, I so also good. loved that. The first woman that we see wearing trousers was the Zeppelin pilot. Oh, yeah. Just like, oh, Hell yeah. yes. Oh, my God. You <laughs> Love that. I yeah, loved it. That's so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. This hasn't changed my rating, though. It's still a two. How dare. Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually, I want to know more about Papilia and her clockwork parts. Yeah, I want to see Ooh. more of the older librarians because apparently they're all weird and shit. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> like, I want to know shit. more. <laughs> yeah, I want to know more too. I might continue the series. Mm. I might like pick up maybe the next sec, like the second and third book, and see how I go. But mm. see how, see how it is. Just, mm. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe she kind of like adds more explanations and things like that, and maybe it's like mm. a little bit more. 
I don't know. Yeah, we'll I think we'll get more explanations if the next book is from Kai's perspective because he's going to be thinking more about why and how things are happening than Irene will be. That's yeah, that's true. true. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Um, this was an interesting scene when they yeah, finally... all Albrecht. We yeah. haven't touched on Albrecht at all. I know. Yeah. I just don't... Villain. <laughs> so strange. It was like being in a Salvador Dali painting. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, oh, I tickled man. Sophia's funny bone. That's good. Yeah, that was good. That was very. Good. I liked that. That was fun. Um, I appreciate the link between her prospects. Her. I'm just reading comments now. Um, mm. Mm, yeah, the whole time and world melting situation was very interesting to read. I was mm. like, okay, well then, <laughs> what's happening? Like, what is going on? Don't know, don't know, okay. so strange. But I'm, I'm so question. Yeah, I'm also very curious about who the big bad is going to be in the next one because obviously it's kind of established that he's not going to be able to go back to this world and mm. it seems like book two is going to be firmly set there. But it's also open enough that he'll probably pop up in later books. So I'm like, what yeah. else yeah. What else are we going to come up against? In the he would just be that really annoying villain that always just can't seem to take no for an answer and just keeps coming back. And you're just like, I've put you in the ground before. Why are you here again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you understand that you don't win <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Really yeah uh, I think at the end it was just that like I know in the library Coppelia said that it was like oh you've managed to lock him out of this world so I think when we go to new worlds he'll begin making an appearance yeah mm. especially because I feel like Irene's the first one that's managed to defy him so he's gonna have a bit Ooh. of a chip on his shoulder in regards to Ooh. that Absolutely, he's not happy. Not happy. Not impressed. I would like. I really enjoyed that he was wearing other people's skin. Like I thought that oh was a really interesting that was take. Really interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. When they go to, what's his name? Dominic. Yeah, Dominic. Dominic. Yeah. When they go to Dominic's place, he just sees the skin. I was like, oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what's that smell? <laughs> you know, I was just like, that is disgusting. But also, I'm intrigued. Mm. Uh, I just take it. Like, <laughs> take the skin with them. So gross. Uh, it was good. Yeah. Mm. I just I enjoyed how weird it was. It was weird. Mm. And it was entertaining. Mm. I just thought some things could have been like explained better and like maybe written a bit better. Mm. Yeah. I mean And the alligators really threw me off. Like I was like, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I can't do this. I, yeah, yeah, that one I I just, I just enjoyed it. I was like, you know what? It's a chaotic world. Random shit's gonna happen. You yeah, just gonna roll with it. it. Roll with it. Rolling with the homie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Is there anything else that we want to discuss? What did you guys mm -hmm. think of like the origin mystery of the library? The tale at the end of the book that mm. they were hunting. Oh yeah. Oh. I was trying to figure out the timelines and if it was yeah because obviously Irene's like the first in a generation to be born in like the library world kind of but I'm like how but it seems like Ulbricht has been around for a really long time so I was trying to figure out the timelines or if it was alluding to her being like his niece or something like that yeah or yeah I think it I think she is definitely related in some fashion to him whether as like a great 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 niece or whatever yeah, yeah there's definitely a relation <laughs> we don't quite know yeah in the story as well it also says how his sister went into hiding and like um irene's mum or parents have been like deep within the library for many years oh. so i'm like i wouldn't i was like it could match up mm. yeah that's true yeah Oh, we haven't done library names. Ooh, there's so many. I actually don't quite know what the question is. Can we, can, because I wasn't what there for the your, What would your library name be? What would you choose? What name would you assume if you were to be oh. an agent of the library? Oh. 
That's hard. Yeah. It's a hard That's question. So hard. Did you guys decide on one yesterday? I couldn't, but Els has a dictionary of literary names. <laughs> so oh, I was like, I love like, her. Uh, mm. Yeah. This, oh. <clears throat> That's so hard. God, what the I would I would probably end up picking something like um Portia. Pierre, like Mia. Sorry, what'd you mm. say? I said I would probably end up picking something like um Portia from the Shakespeare play, the Oh yeah. The female loyal lady who is a boss ass bitch. I'd probably end up picking something like that. Portia! Yes. Portia? I love that. <laughs> um yeah, actually, yeah, that is actually really good. That's a good choice. I honestly <laughs> cannot think of one. And when happy. I do think of I one, I just watched her scream it like, in the chat. <laughs> oh, shut. Love I it. Was, I, I was like, well, I could be super easy and just call myself Kaz Brecker because I don't have to change my name. But maybe that would be towing a little too close to the line since having, like, since your, there's, like, power behind your name, like your mm. birth name. Like, it's kind of alluded to that. Yeah, the, with the power behind the name with the Faye. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought Irene's birth name was surprising. I was like, oh, mm. that's her birth name? Mm, interesting. Mm. Mm. Did not expect that. I understand why mm. she picked Irene much better. Um, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what mine would be. I, I think I have to think on that and then I'll come back and let you know. <laughs> yeah. Let us know right at now. least. I will let you know. I just can't think of one. Mm. <sighs> Oh, do we need to choose from? It's like, what route do we go? Do we go with one that we just like, a character we aspire to be, a character we relate to? Yeah, like, there's where? so many avenues I could go. Yeah. Do you go an author, like a, a Renaissance character? Like, there are so many options and choices. Mm. But I was interested. So that that's what I got as well. But also, when she spoke in the language, she specifically said, "I will tell you my birth name as soon as he walks out the door." And then yeah. when he uses it, he uses it. Yeah. So I was not, seeing with how she said it because she, again, she said, my parents called me Ray, not my name is Ray. But I was like, but how bound, how much did she bind herself when she used the language and said specifically, I will tell you my birth name? Unless like her birth, unless it's almost kind of like Ray is kind of, I mean, I guess like Ray is like, a, like if it is a nickname, but it could be like the name that they gave her. Like when they first saw her, like okay, raise like your name, but like you can like legally be this or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, I have like, a. Does that mean she'll have like two names, like two true names? Yeah, mm. I have a, a friend whose first name is James, but everyone calls him Ryan, which is his middle name because his parents have always called him Ryan. James is just a family name. Mm. I so, don't get why people do that. Like, just I don't get it Ryan. either. But you know, whatever. Just name them Ryan. I, why do we have to give them Jane Ryan? You could yeah. just say Ryan. <laughs> yeah. I have a friend who goes by her middle name because she hates her first name, and she's just just like her parents gave her her first name as her first name, but she doesn't like it, so she uses it. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I almost I almost did that for mm. a while there because man, my name is a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> you know how many people call me Rachel on a daily basis? Oh, or Michelle, Rachel. or Rochelle, yeah. or Raquel. That's why I agree with Kaz, Raquel. Cause like Katarina, Katriania, Katriona, yeah. Karina. Oh my god. Yeah. Man, so I've just given up on correcting people at this point. I'm just like, mm. cool, you're going to call me Rachel for the rest of your life. Great. Love that. <laughs> Have fun. Like, I'm so used to pronouncing my name wrong that I don't automatically correct them anymore and then that's just ugh, forever it's wrong <laughs> mm. forever wrong in their eyes forever okay. wrong yeah mm. Mm. oh yeah I was going Malay de Winter or Mina Harker okay I mean I <laughs> did not know what I would go so we'll we'll come back and let you know what I would choose. Mm. Good. All right. Okay. Anything else that we want to discuss? I would be interested to hear what you guys, like what world, if you were to be stationed there as a library oh. denizen, what kind of world do you want to be stationed in? Oh. 
High magic, low tech, did you say? <laughs> yeah. Like chaos or law as well? Um, or a balance? I think, like, I like the idea of... I like the fact that with chaos worlds, they start to follow, like, the things that happen start to follow as along, like, as if it was happening in a story. But if it's not chaotic, it happens more realistically, which I found interesting. I feel mm -hmm. like I personally would have trouble in a chaos world. <laughs> I'd, yeah. I'd hate it while I was there, but the idea of it sounds really interesting. The fact that there's these, mm. like, different yeah. things. I think I would also go high magic, low tech, but and I would pick probably a balance between, like, law and chaos. Mm. Yeah. A little bit of both. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. I'm definitely, like, talking? high law, high magic, get that fucking tech out of here. My tech. I don't want My it. tech. <laughs> Never heard of her. Nah. <laughs> I yeah. love that. That'd be great. I, I just like rules and structure too much. Like, I... Ooh. In D&D, &D, I struggle to play a chaotic character because I'm just like, no, why, why would you do that? Well, oh, see, I love playing mm. chaotic characters. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's no, so fun. I can't do it. It goes usually, against every mo moral fiber of my being. I'm like, no, I'm think usually, about what you're doing. I'm usually like a chaotic neutral character in D&D. Mm. &D. I think like all of my characters have been chaotic neutral. I think one of them was uh, like chaotic. Is it chaotic lawful? Is that what it is? Like the, I can't remember the, the list, but um, yeah. I have always been some sort of chaotic because yeah. I just like to have fun. Yeah, it's chaotic good, chaotic neutral, chaotic evil. There's neutral good, true neutral, uh, chaotic. Oh, then, yeah. No, yeah, then it's lawful good. Chaotic. But, yeah, yeah neutral evil. Um, I tend to play lawful neutral because that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you're lawful something. Definitely I'm lawful. lawful neutral for sure. Yeah, Jean is definitely chaotic neutral, like she just said in the chat. I see you, girl. <laughs> chaotic neutral. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's hard to think of a name. I can't think of a and name. The names are hard. I think are I love that there was that section on about how people were talking and discussing about the names that they were going to pick. I thought that was very very high school of them <laughs> <laughs> i love that Ooh. well i have nothing else i'd like to talk about but if you guys have anything else you want to talk about no i think Ooh. we've covered the majority of it i think so mm. <clears throat> good chat good chat guys good chat Good chat. And thank you everyone for watching, for joining us today and contributing your comments, your thoughts, all of that fun stuff. Um, don't forget, <clears throat> in June we are reading oh, yeah. The Dark Tide. I really like that the finished copy has foil. That would be really pretty. <clears throat> I know, it's so nice. So nice. So nice. Um, it's FF Fantasy, yes. Australian author. Debut, get behind it. I'm excited. Can we, we, have, we have a question Sorry? in the chat about how we pick the books for book club. That's a good it, question. It, it mm. is. It varies between chaos. us. Yeah, it is literally chaos. Very yeah. chaos. <laughs> we, we, we try to do a bit of a mix. Sometimes if there's books any of us are particularly excited about, we'll nominate them. And then we mm. also try and balance out doing polls so we'll try and brainstorm a theme for the polls and then choose narrow it down to four books and then pop that up on social media yeah. um so we try to do that when possible um, <laughs> else we have a jewel yeah, and whoever cool. survives gets to choose this is why piero's books <laughs> keep getting picked because we just can't be bothered fighting her <laughs> <laughs> i'm a pacifist i don't want to fight <laughs> <laughs> Like, we're going to have to pick yeah. sci-fi at some point. Pierre is just going to have to deal. I know. Can we please? I've already been yes. really this. Yeah. I've got some sci-fi oh, suggestions. We are, a, we are a fantasy sci-fi book club, not just a fantasy, a fantasy book club. Book club. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Back in July. Let's do it. Let's do it in July. Let's, let's see what we can July. do. July. Okay. July. 
July, July maybe, maybe August, depending on what else we have. Yeah, depending on what, ha- with what oh. happens in the world again. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Yes, Pierre does love Red Rising, but that is the exception, not the rule. Yeah, exactly. Not the rule I honestly at thought all. Red Rising was fancy, but I guess it is sci fi ish. Sci fi yeah, Definitely a cross. Especially books two and three. Across, yeah. In space. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Cool. No cool. worries then. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Also, we'll see you in a month on PRS channel for our June book of the month. Um, but yeah, we'll talk to you guys on social media and all that good stuff. Bye. Bye. Bye.